Dear colleagues, good afternoon. We start our working day at Ukraine Crisis Media Center. And the topic of the first press briefing is launching annual event, Malevich Day in Kiev. Now our guests are Natalia Popovich, co-founder of Ukraine Crisis Media Center, Alexander Sevruk, Dean at Kiev Mogila Business School, Natalia Zabalotna, General Director of Mitsetsky Arsenal, and uh, Alexey Reznikov, Deputy Kiev Mayor, Secretary of of City Council. Dear friends, welcome on stage. Dear friends, good afternoon. I'm glad to see you all here at Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Today, is a very important moment and a very important date, the start of the new project, Ukraine Crisis Media Center, during the last two years, from its start, is in avant-garde of counteracting aggression, aggression from our northern neighbor and the Totalitarianism not only against that is not against only our freedom, but that is against the freedom of all others. And we feel that what is going on in Ukraine uh, in the East, Ukraine now is uh, making choices and have the opportunity to bring values and to have understanding of those values that were raised during Maidan. So these are the values of tolerance. And we, in our information projects, will continue that these values are important. And we want to get inspired and that Ukrainians uh, be inspired by these values. So. The, the important date is approaching. That is the 25th anniversary of uh, independence of Ukraine, and we get clear understanding that it is very important to understand those values, cultural values in different spheres. And uh, we should understand that we have many achievements in different areas, especially the area of culture. And uh, uh, those people who were here, who created their works here in Ukraine, who were inspired by Ukraine, and they were formed in these communities. And in the framework of preparations of to the uh, events of the 25th anniversary of independence, we a look uh, through the lists of the names, and we find them. Uh, there are such great names as Kazimir Malevich, and uh, we uh, get more information about these people. And for us, it is important to understand that uh, his works also uh, is uh, our car uh, our heritage. So it shouldn't be stolen from the people. And uh, of course, there are many great artists, painters, and uh, it happens so that empires, uh, they just want that these artists belong to them. But we analyzed a lot of information, and we believe that for the next several days, that will be the time for discussions, debates, and um, to, uh, to better understand uh, the heritage and uh, also uh, to understand better those uh, pieces of art. This man is famous in the world, and uh, he should be recognized as uh, the person who worked in Ukraine, and uh, we should understand this, and uh, we see many discussions and information about renaming, and this is not only renaming of uh, some infrastructure, and we looked at statistics and we understand the meaning for the country 
that the millions of people who can get access to such important brand as Kazimir Malevich, this decision should be taken, of, uh, for example, if, uh, 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 we also opened um, an exhibition in the uh, Borispol airport, so 8 million were um, able to see these um, works of art, and this is many more than those uh, works that were produced uh, and Ukrainian works. Um, so people should know about our legacy, our heritage, and for us this is very important. And we wait for the days of productive discussions. And I would uh, like to ask Alexa Alexander to tell us more about Malevich days. Uh, so maybe some opinion, opinion leaders, they should get more convincing facts and they can get this information during Malevich day. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. The topic is not about crisis today. This is a wonderful, interesting topic. And uh, we go back to the matters. If we look deeper in our souls, it resonates with today and what was done by Malevich 100 years ago with the um, group of Kievans in uh, the field of avant-garde or in some uh, search. This is a change of paradigm when we have to find these capabilities uh, in ourselves, not just to close the door on our past. And uh, we should create new rules of game. And uh, Malevich uh, is uh, not only a metaphor uh, in color, but also this is a powerful artist. He opens the world and provides each of us the opportunity to find ourselves. And uh, we can uh, have access through art, through science, through the paradigm of business. Any entrepreneur, if we're speaking about context of business schools, each entrepreneur tries to find new ways, to find new approach and new sense. And when we approach the level that we are ready to find new sense and new uh, understanding. So Malevich is uh, the biggest metaphor figure who defend and inspire us and start new processes that cannot be controlled by consciousness strictly. We become some sort of subjects of this and uh, this initiative is a very good initiative. And in some days, we will have uh, uh, thousands of uh, actions on Facebook, and we have different opinions from state bodies, from municipalities, and also institutions of education, and uh, uh, all of them uh, get united. And in three these days, you will see many artifacts and testimonies and many different intellectual things and events, and all this will happen just for free. Uh, this is wonderful natural energy and initiative, and it resonates, and Malevich opens some stylistic logic of openness and creativity, and now we are lacking this. So we should struggle for something, fight for something. And this is a logic of opening in ourselves a new style, a new style for a country, and to, to represent the country in the context of the world as a country, as a proud member of a world community that can be on at the equal level among other nations. And this is Malevich for us. And uh, we gather interesting people, there will be um, discussions and many events that you will get information about from Natalia and uh, around round table from ministers to ambassadors from businessmen to 
some philosophers or artists. So there will be some recommendations, and we believe that Malevich should be on the world arena that represent Ukraine in different ways. And uh, we will help this, and uh, the round table will be held in the uh, Malevich room that exists in business school. And for creative person, Malevich lives. So for us, it is a natural task to get united today and uh, look each other in the eyes and uh, to invite other people to join. And this is a natural thing that should live through our feelings. So my colleague will continue. Thank you. For me, it, I'm really proud that I'm here at the stage. Uh, so um, I was the member of the UCMC team, and then I uh, was the member of Arsenal. So we invite you to Arsenal, Stetsky Arsenal Hall. And we are very grateful to Business Mahila Academy and the uh, Kiev Mahila Business School. And we thank them for um, taking part in these events. Uh, so uh, this name, Malevich, it is mentioned in the media, in the papers, in Russian Federation here in Ukraine. And there was a nation of the Supreme Council while um, so they were speaking that we should create cultural anchors on the map because uh, cultural tourism is really important. And uh, millions of people, they travel around the world, but uh, somehow they do not go to Kiev, not, not because they are not interested, but because we do not promote our cultural brands. And uh, they wanted to rename uh, the Boris Port to Kazimir Malevich, um, and uh, uh, there would be some promotion, and people would know that Kazimir Malevich was born in Kiev, and he was baptized in the St. Alexander Church, and uh, so millions of people enjoy his works, and in many museums, uh, uh, in the, uh, um, there are pictures in Trilikovsky Gallery and in other galleries of the world. And also, uh, the pictures of Malevich are present in um, Mislitsky Arsenal. And it was um, uh, presented by um, um, uh, And uh, we were presented with the collection of pictures, and the, uh, one of the elements of this uh, collection is the works of Kazimir Malevich. So we opened the day of Kazimir Malevich, and we hope that they will continue. Kazimir Malevich is open, and he is in uh, uh, Mr. Arsenal, and there will be a uh, round table at 4 o'clock, and there uh, there will be an expert community that will discuss uh, the importance of this name for Ukraine and for the world. And uh, in uh, uh, 5.30 p.m., we will uh, carry out an excursion. It was, will be delivered by uh, prominent uh, um, actor, Mr. Gorbachev. And the, this uh, evening, uh, also, we will present a project uh, that lasts for 10 years, a project of Nikola Matsenka. Uh, so he, uh, uh, many years ago, he sold uh, uh, black squares in uh, Andreevsky Uzviz, and uh, uh, now there is a um, project. Each uh, house should have its own black square. So this, uh, they do not, uh, ex they are not expensive. So um, every person can have it, and there will be a wonderful concert at, at Mr. Arsenal, and that will be only the start of th these three days of Kazimir Malevich, and we are convinced that Ukraine, with, uh, we believe that uh, country without culture is only a territory, and uh, how can someone uh, 
uh, I believe that no one should threaten uh, the territory of the country where Malevich was born. So uh, we should be uh, persistent and uh, persevere, and that will be one of the brightest uh, thing, and uh, um, our country will be known not only because of Chernobyl or because of political quarrels, not because uh, here is war, but because Kazimir Malevich was born here, and uh, the name, uh, so you know that the most prominent picture is uh, Jaconda uh, and the um, black uh, square. So these are the most uh, um, known works. So this is a starting point. So let's uh, create a manif manifest. And uh, Kazimir Malevich is ours, and the world should know this. And uh, after this, I believe that will be a cultural tourism, and the budget will get money from this. And this is very important for uh, to the economy of the country and for us that will be really great and i believe that each ukrainian will be proud that he is a part of this wonderful state of this wonderful country where Mal malevich was born and he um, so um maybe we have several minutes for questions please ask Rep Levan Georgians of Maidan. The topic is not military, but you know that in the ADO area many children's pictures come, and we have uh, four floors in Lugansk, and everything was um, uh, uh, in all these floors. They were there were uh, children's paintings on the walls. And uh, uh, I felt that the style of Malevich was present there. And uh, in the black colors, these pictures were, um, were made. So I will go to the place of my deployment, and uh, I will provide these uh, this picture to you, because young children, uh, they are really talented. Thank you. Do you have questions? Olga Ganchara, UCMC. We made a tour, uh, cultural tour of journalists, and they asked where we can see Malevich bring us to this museum. And we understood that we should work on this topic. And we are really grateful that in some months this topic will be on the agenda. And it is wonderful that there will be um, we hope for uh, the Museum of Malevich in Kiev, and we hope that uh, the work will be started in this direction, and we would gladly join this project. And we um, wish everyone to uh, have happy Malevich days in Kiev. And Miguel Kankor from So we understand that Malevich is not only black square, so this is the most prominent picture, but there were different works of Malevich. Malevich. So what is, uh, what is the most important thing in philosophic paradigm of Malevich? And uh, what is the result? Uh, is, what result is planned by those who create strategy? Thank you, Andrei. Colleague to colleague, as they say. If we are speaking about Malevich, he had a, a, such a um, statement. He fought with the form and in suprematism. He wanted to destroy the form. He fought with the tangible things because uh, these are consequences, and he wanted to search for the reasons, the reasons and the basic things. They are not tangible, not material. So this is the transition, the symbol of transition. So the first, uh, the re uh, first there is an idea. 
and uh, ab abstract thinking, and then there are ways of realization uh, from the stage of idea to some uh, creation. So otherwise, we exhaust uh, uh, our reserves. So we should not. We should change things through ideas, and Malevich is. Uh, uh, is the type of this behavior and our colleagues in business school and our partners, they uh, perceive uh, this art as a case of study, of life, of philosophy, and uh, this is a normal case to think so radically. And if we are speaking about strategic breakthrough, it's, it is very easy to speak about it uh, on the basis of the works of Malevich. That is what we identify. So this is a space filled with the art of Malevich. We return the spirit of Malevich, not only those artifacts, but the logic and style, this is more than enough. There is no museum of Malevich of, in the world till today. But after Leonardo da Vinci, he is the most um, famous painter. And uh, today's museum of Chopin, it is electronic. In Amsterdam, uh, the museum of Van Gogh, uh, also there are, is, uh, there are no originals. So the most important thing, what it is all about, it should be a part of the style. It is an approach to life. This is the logic of it. So there should be historic fairness restored. And Malevich was called the Russian suprematist and the avant-gardist. And uh, uh, they say that he was born in Vityabsk, Kursk, Moscow, and not in the territory of Ukraine. But he was born in Kiev. He was in Kharkiv Oblast. He worked there and then Parkominka village of uh, Kharkivska Oblast. And uh, there was a difficult situation with the museum there that belonged to the community. And uh, we should help them. And also he worked in Kanatop and also there is a lot of interesting information, and on this wave of uh, Malevich mania, and uh, there was found last year a unique archive of uh, Marian Kropivnitsky and also Kiev Magila Business School, together with Rodavid Edition. They created a special uh, book, Kiev um, uh, Period of Malevich. He loved Ukraine, he loved Ukrainians, and uh, uh, he also uh, reflected uh, uh, Ukrainian life in his uh, 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 works. He said that uh, uh, workers cannot paint, but villagers can. And uh, uh, Ukraine, uh, 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 billions of people enjoy his works, and we should restore justice. We should name the Boryspol Airport Atta Kazimir Malevich, and uh, uh, people should understand that uh, uh, that this is the country of Malevich. Thank you, dear colleagues. And the last comment for us, this heritage of Malevich and avant-gardism, this is broad space. And it says that there are no things that are impossible. And um, this is a group of people who worked before us. They were in the avant-garde of freedom. They worked and broke the limits. Now, these are the challenges that are before us. That's why it's so important that the, these wonderful intellectual works of Malevich that are researched uh, in the works of Kropivnitsky and others, uh, many Ukrainians don't know about it. 
and there should be rethinking through the state bodies and through cultural institutions, and we should bring this topic to a top level. And millions of Ukrainians will know about the works of Malevich. They will get inspired, and they will tell about their country and be proud of and those people who will come. I believe that I, I wait for the moment that uh, at each ticket we could um, read Ma the Malevich International Airport. That would be really wonderful. So we invite to take part in these events. And thank you that you will highlight this topic and will take it and hold it in the spotlight. Thank you very much. Until the next time, goodbye. Dear colleagues, our press briefing is in several minutes.